I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. There's nothing to stress about with the election. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, all major platforms, and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org slash giving goes a long way in putting the gospel into the ears of young people. and They need this gospel in these dark times. So a friend of mine uh, said to me that his daughter is incredibly stressed about the election. And it makes for a good, it makes for a good moment to sort of pause for a second. You watch the news and you could hear that this is the election that's going to change everything. No matter which side you are on, if you are on the orange man bad side, got to get rid of him. If you're on the abortion is on the ballot, righteousness is on the ballot, and, and, and lower taxes is on the ballot, well, then Biden's got to lose. How are we as Christians supposed to handle this? Well, we're to remember who the the true God is. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, sits at the right hand of God, the Lamb having been slain for your sins and mine. He is none other than Jesus the Christ, the crucified. He went through death and hell to save us. And he didn't take a day off on election day, if our guy doesn't win. He didn't take, and he isn't more God than he was yesterday if our God does win, whether it's the big evil orange man or the sleepy one. Remember Christ. He is the Lord of heaven and earth, and he is going to carry us through He's going to carry us through not just this life, but the life of the world to come. Well, that's great churchy words, Pastor, but I mean, I love my country. And if I don't get the right guy, then my country's going to go to pot. Well, remember, our leaders, while elected in America, are given to us by God. And so if our guy wins then that is the one that God wanted us to have. And if our God doesn't win, then the guy that we didn't want to have is the one that God wanted us to have. He is working all things out, moving steadily toward his return to rescue us from this veil of tears to a place where he is God all the time and there is no other. And we need not be idolatrous and think that our leader is somehow whether it's orange man bad or the orange man good, is going to rescue us from this. Another way of looking at this is that God is going to give us what we deserve and want, whether it be judgment or grace, whether it be suffering or prosperity. He's going to give us what we deserve and want. And so we deserve the leaders that we have. And he works through the leaders that we have to do his will. He used the Assyrians and the Babylonians and the Egyptians to execute judgment upon his people, even though he was God, is God, will be God. And so the thing to remember is in the midst of all of this, Jesus is Lord, and he's a gracious God, and he doesn't treat us as our sins deserve. And in this life, he can give us what we deserve in our government. But all of it is working toward the day of his return, where he will take us from this veil of tears to be with him forever in a world in which, which the king is always good to us. And if that is true on the last day, if the, tr the king is true and good to us on the last day, he will certainly be true to good and good to us by faith today, even as we vote. So vote in the freedom of the gospel for the person who most 
fits your views. Link in the description on that from last week. But vote certain that no matter what God gives you as leader, he's going to save you in Christ Jesus. I'm Pastor George Barkar. And this is going to be another high, is another higher things video short. <laughs>